Hello everybody, it's the Vivian. I am back finally on YouTube for another uh, makeup tutorial. I'm so sorry I haven't been posting lately. I've just been so, so busy and um, YouTube is a really like hard work, isn't it? Yeah, it's like a full-time job. So, um, and you know, the times we've been having, I hope everyone's been staying safe and you know, COVID's hit us and everything like that. But um, Christmas is nearly here. So I thought I would do a little Christmas look because I need to take some new photos for a new Christmas show that I've got coming up. While I'm doing my face, why not throw the camera on, make a YouTube video, say hello to you guys, catch up, and um, I hope you enjoy this video. So if you want to see a lovely little Christmas look, keep on watching and let's have fun. Okay, so I'm going in with my Smashbox Primer for the finish, which I've had for absolutely months. This has lasted me in a lifetime, so I highly recommend it. And foundations, I'm using my good old trusted TV Paint Sticks by Krylon. I'm using 4W all over, 3W to highlight, and 5W in my contour points, so down the neck and in the temples. Now you've all seen how I do my foundation in my other videos, so we're going to go straight to eyeshadows. Now I wish I could tell you the shades that I'm using on my eyes, but let's just say it's a little secret that all will be revealed. <laughs> so I'm just marking out the shape that I want my eye. So it's a nice winged out socket. I'm using a dark, dark green, quite a khaki green. Doing the exact same on the other eye. Just starting in the inner corner and winging it straight out. Getting that colour really deep, really dark. This is going to be the darkest point of your eye. Then using a lighter green and just blending that darker line out. Still keeping the shape of the eye. Blending all the way along where we've put the dark. So I like to put my brush half on the dark and then half on the skin tone. Just blend, blend, blend to so get rid of any harsh lines and that you're happy with what you've got. Make sure you're reinforcing that shape of the eye socket as well. Watching this back as well, this is the most rushed video I've ever done in my life, <laughs> so um, it was completely unplanned, but hey, Merry Christmas! This is a Christmas look as well, so I'm going for like nice greens and reds and golds. Now I'm taking a more lime green, it's like a toxic green kind of thing. I wish I could tell you the shades, but I'm so sorry I can't. <laughs> Just flicking that bit off, because I went a bit too low. So I've got a nice dark green in the socket, then I'm blending up to a lighter green, and then the really nice lime green that's gonna blend up into my highlight once my brows are on. Now I'm just reinforcing the dark, because where we've blended over the dark green, sometimes the colors can get a bit murky together. So I just like to reinforce the darkest color that I've put down. Now I'm just connecting that to my top lash line. That's going to give me that nice cat eye shape. Same on the other side. Making sure that dark green is really nice and dark just before we go in and cut the crease. So I'm going to be using Acid Rain by P. Louise and Mama Mitchell. And this is in blank canvas. So on a nice flat brush, we're just going to use this to cut the crease and get a nice defined line. This is honestly one of the best eyeshadow primers I've ever used. The consistency is amazing, it picks up the colours gorgeous. This is the kind of part where you've got to really concentrate. I always find if you do it in sections rather than trying to do the full shape in one. So like patting it on in stages, usually like start in the middle, then the inner corner, then the outer. 
and then just pull that all the way across the lid. So that is going to give us a gorgeous base for this red that I'm using. You can use any red eyeshadow. Again, I can't tell you the shade of this one. <laughs> You've probably all guessed what's going to be happening very soon with me not being able to tell you the shades. Anyway, I've, led, I've laid my red down. Now I'm using the Huda Liquid Metallic Eyeshadows for the inner corner and I'm just pulling it through to the centre of the eye. I'm going to be putting more of this on later but I'm just going to put my liquid liner on first which is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. Also this is probably one of the best liquid liner felt tip pen things I've used. Sometimes I feel the felt tips can go really dry and they don't last. Um, but this one's really lasted me so I'm happy with that. Now I'm just reinforcing the dark, popping a little bit of black on the outside corners. I've gone on the under eye as well. And now I'm just popping that same bright green that we used at the top of the eye right in the inner corner. And just lining my inside corner to give me a nice cat eye. Because what's Christmas without a nice cat eye? A little bit of mascara. You all know how to put mascara on by now, surely, if you're watching this. <laughs> now I'm going back in with that Huda Liquid Metallic Eyeshadow. And I'm going to cover the red. So you still get a pop of red through it, but you want a more goldy, festive kind of feel to the eye. I wasn't that happy with the red, how it looked, so that's why I'm putting the gold over it. Sometimes when I'm doing an eye look, I've got an idea in my head halfway through, I'll absolutely hate it. So that's why I threw the gold over it. Now for eyebrows, I always do my top line first, then my bottom line. And then I'm going to colour that in with the exact same colour that I've used for the top and bottom line. Then pull a face at the camera, that's always fun. Now just blend that in. So you're basically colouring in your brow. And then once that is done, we're going to go in with a darker shade for the end of the brow. So again, you can see I did my top line, then my bottom line, then just blending it down into the lighter colour. What's everyone getting for Christmas? I cannot wait for Christmas. So I'm just putting my 00 Cryon on TV stick under the brow. We've just started decorating our Christmas house and we put a tree up and now it's turned into this whole thing. We cannot stop buying Christmas decorations. So please, somebody come and stop me buying Christmas decorations. So still just defining the brow. It's always a good thing if you mesh your brows up, you can always go around with concealer. Now, have a look at yourself in the mirror, get your life, and then <laughs> go over your concealer. I'm using a bright white eyeshadow. Then I'm just going to blend my greens back into where I've put my white highlight on the brow bone. Making sure everything's nice and blended. This is always the part where I get to really see the shape of the eye, whether I'm happy with it, so I can change it. Now pop on your favourite highlighter. Now this is my new favourite highlighter, which is the Stacey Marie Be Perfect Get Wet, which is stunning. It's like, almost like a putty powder formulation, but I like to put it on with my finger. Now we're contouring in all the usual places, the temples, the cheekbones, the jaw. Get rid of that man, as much as we can anyway. Now I'm just highlighting the nose with my finger before I go in with a brush. As you can see I've chilled out on my nose contour since the last video. <laughs> I was starting to look a bit like a swordfish. So I've had a bit of filler in my nose so I don't need to um, contour it as crazy as I used to. Now I always like to connect my nose contour into my eyeshadow. So I'm gonna go in now 
with my green and just connect it into the dark contour that I've used on my nose. Now we're going to use the gorgeous Be Perfect Supreme Velvet Liquid Mattes, which I was in the campaign for. If you haven't seen them, go and check it out on Be Perfect's page or on my Instagram. And I'm going to be using the red. First of all, I'm going to line my lips. And before I go on to my lipstick, I completely forgot to blush. So I'm going to be using MAC Mocha, which is always my favourite, to blend out my contour with. Then I'm going to throw some pinks into the cheek and straight onto lips. As this is Christmas, I want a gorgeous red and this new Be Perfect red is stunning. I always like to put a coat on, let it dry and then stick another coat on and then we're good to go. And this is the final look everybody. So from my house to yours, have a fabulous Christmas and I'll see you very soon.